What's going on everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel and today. We're here for episode 42 of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise mode. And this is the big one. The undefeated season. The first in this channel's 10 year plus history of making Madden content. And we have a chance to complete the first ever perfect season. And the team that stands in our way is the 12 and 5 New York Jets. Now I've thought long and hard about the fallout from this game win, lose or draw. And obviously, if we lose this game, there's no drop. If we lose this game, we're going to run it back. Usually in my Madden series, my main Madden franchises, when I win a Super Bowl, if that happens, before the next game releases, I usually move on to something else. But I've been kind of looking at the comments. It seems like more people want me to continue this dynasty. And I'm actually kind of siding with that. I do think that even if we win this game, I'm not ready to be done here with the Arizona Cardinals. And I think a big reason to that, honestly, is our draft class. I think now, like, once we once we reach the tippy top of that mountain, I've always, there's never been a year that I've carried on. As soon as I win that, we go on and do a different series. But I think with the team that we have here, with the fact that we got Harris, Paris Johnson, House, Superstar, Rollins, we got Roosevelt Bonds, we got Archibald at wide receiver, obviously we have the reemergence of Calvin Austin uh, and Kyler Murray. We got a superstar kicker, for God's sakes, on the defensive side of the ball. We have B.J. Ojolari, who's shattering records left, right, and center. We drafted Duvall. We have Alan Papo, Silas, Zayvon Collins, the secondary led by Kenny Hodges. There's just so many players that I want to continue to see their growth and development that I'm, I'm honestly down to run this series all the way to Madden 2025. Maybe it'll get a, less, a little less frequent. Maybe we'll start to change how we present this series Maybe we'll do longer episodes and get through seasons quicker. Not 100% sure, but right now I am leaning towards running it back. Well, I'm not even saying I'm leaning towards. We are going to run it back, win or lose this Super Bowl. But I'm leaning towards just running this series for multiple more seasons just because I want to continue not only see the growth and development of this squad, we're killing the drafts. I want to just, how, how much better can we go? So we got this Jets games here. I uh, need to get this upload in. I will say apologize for no uploads uh, on the weekend. We had a video come out Friday, which is a, a modded PC video where I put Alabama, got the Alabama jerseys, Alabama roster. Go check that out if you haven't. We want to pump those numbers up just a little bit more. But nothing on uh, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, my daughter was uh, in the hospital. She's back home now. It's one of those deals where it's like, I don't know how serious it is. We're leaning towards this. We're going to be all right, but the doctors are still... Not 100% sure what's kind of going on there. So it's been stressful. It's it, it's not a fun weekend. And I just wanted to kind of update because, you know, I hate hate not having something out Saturday or Sunday of the weekend. That's a, that's a good day. That's the holy day in terms of uploading uh, here on this channel. But uh, it was not a particularly fun weekend. It opened up this Monday. It's one of those deals like there's nothing you can really do right now. Got some medicine. Hopefully it works. And this is like a good distraction for me to have to get back into the rhythm of things. Uh, but just wanted to kind of give an update because I it does I, it paints me from, from a... From a content creator, not to get something on the weekend. So that's kind of what's going on. But we are here. And this is an awesome distraction to have. As we are trying to culminate the greatest single season in Madden franchise history. And what stands between us and Super Bowl glory is the 12-5 and New York Jets. When you look at their roster. We know our roster. When you look at their roster. We did a preview at the end of the last episode. But a quick refresher. Yes, they got Jameis Winston there. Right? Who has the mentor tag. I'm sure he's mentoring Aaron Rodgers. A lot of mentoring going on. But they got the 41-year-old Aaron Rodgers, who's still playing well. Him and Russell Wilson have been ageless wonders in this franchise. Now, that's not ridiculous. 4,300 yards, 28 touchdowns, 9 picks. But also, at 41, pretty solid. Not everyone can be Tom Brady. You have Brees Hall in the backfield. He's a monster. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 220 pounds. We're going to make sure we, we handle our responsibility. You got Garrett Wilson. X-Factor wide receiver. Miko Hartman, who brings 96 speed, 96 acceleration, has a lot of big game Super Bowl experience. Probably more so than almost anybody on that Jets roster for what he did with the Kansas City Chiefs. You look at the offensive line, it's a solid offensive line. It's not a great offensive line, but it is an offensive line, especially right here, as B.J. Ojolari goes up against Mekhi Becton. At 6'7", 363 pounds, he struggles against finesse rushers. And what is B.J. Ojolari, if not the best finesse rusher in the league, who needs to bounce back? He did not have a particularly good game in the NFC Championship game. 
So this is now when the stage and the lights are brightest, we need him to step up. Looking at the defense for the Jets, solid across the board. Will McDonald, John Franklin Myers, you got the 99 X Factor in Quinnen Williams, who's an absolute dog. We are down our starting center. He is going to miss this game due to injury. So the inside, it's going to be interesting to see how those guys can hold up. You look at the linebackers, pretty average, to be, you know, be honest. Maybe that's an advantage for us. Quick throws over the middle of the field, which we do like to utilize. Runs with Roosevelt Bonds, which we like to utilize. The secondary led by Sauce Gardner, 99 superstar. You got Dante Jackson. That is a size mismatch for us. Steven Archibald, our superstar first-round pick, is gone. He is not going to be in the Super Bowl. So it is Maple Tron, 6'4", 240-pound Chase Claypool that is going to step up. And if we can get him matched up one-on-one -on, -one on the 5'10", 180 Dante Jackson, that is a matchup we are going to have to pick on and go to time and time again. You got Justin Reed. You got Jordan Whitehead. Two very solid safeties in the back end there. Decent special teamers. They're a solid team. They are... Honestly, big picture, they are they're they're a worthy Super Bowl. I think honestly, if you're an 85 or above, you are a team that is worthy of going to a Super Bowl. But is this team truly worthy of stopping an undefeated season? I, I feel like this is very much a get off the tracks type situation. So we got here our presser, our Super Bowl coach. Your team has a chance of making history this week as the first team since the 1972 Dolphins to complete an undefeated season. How is your team handling the pressure? We are. Locked in. I'm not going to say the run faced because everyone knows this is not just trying to get the first Super Bowl. This is trying to do something that has never been done in terms of total wins. Because obviously, what the Dolphins were like 13, 14, and 0, something like that. We are trying to go 20 and 0. We are 19 and 0. And I don't think it'll ever be done again. I, I, even if we win, we win this game, we go undefeated. We're, we're probably, there's just no way we're going to do it again next year. It'll be cool to see how many more wins we can tack on. But it is incredibly unlikely that this will ever be done. So we have a chance to make double history. First Super Bowl in franchise history. First true undefeated season in a 17-game schedule. How are we going to attack them? What are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? On the offensive side of the ball, they like to run the ball with Brees Hall. I don't know, man. I always just feel like... I feel like I can always trust our run defense, and we're going to defend the short pass. Aaron Rodgers, an old man, doesn't have the arm talent anymore to take those shots downfield. I, I think it's going to be a little bit more gadget plays from McCole Hartman than it's going to be that straight line speed beating us deep, contesting to beat us deep. Offensively, yep, they like to blitz. They are also not uh, particularly good. Look, they're 30th against... Hmm. Their rush yards are pretty bad. They like to blitz. Hmm. All these are pretty good, honestly. Sure, we'll go blitz counter. Sure. Now let's get through this one healthy. I don't want anyone picking up a late surprise injury before this Super Bowl game. I want a full strength squad. I want no cheese. We already have our injuries. I guess that we, I do want to look at the injury report. What do we got? Owen. Owen Papo is going to miss the Super Bowl. Garrett Williams is going to miss the Super Bowl. They're starting nickel. What else? What else at this fucking rate? Are you kidding? We're down two key starters. Our start, our stud middle linebacker. And our slot corner. The only thing that makes me... We gotta look... There's surely gonna be some football karma that goes away the Jets. They're gonna be down a couple starters here. Look, we are down Owen Popo, 84 middle linebacker. Garrett Williams, 81 superstar. Shaq Norton, 80 star center, and Steven Archibald, 83 superstar. The Jets are down <laughs> fullback. <laughs> All right, so you got to make it that much more impressive. We are facing severely a lot more adversity than the Jets. Next man up mentality. And luckily, off a good week of practice, the guy that's going to need to step up with Owen Popo out. 
is Quentin Silas, another member of one of the greatest rookie classes of all time. We don't know the dev trait, probably star, but he's going to need to step up. Doesn't have the same speed, doesn't have nearly the same speed. Owen Powell got, what, 93, 94 speed. We got 85. A little bit different style of player, not so much a cover guy, more of a run defender. It's got to be Zavid Collins, man, the jack of all trades. Wears a lot of hats on this defense. Can rush the passer, can go sideline to sideline, can drop back into coverage. I'm going to tell you right now, going into this game right now, what the duties, what the uptick and responsibility. Zavin Collins is starting with our personal MVP going into this matchup for Super Bowl. Someone else is going to have to take it away from him for what he's going to have to do to control the middle of this defense, wear the green dot, be the QB. Fuck, man, why? Those injury rolls are... Makes it fair, I guess. Let's enjoy this whole presentation. Let's enjoy this moment. Not guaranteed to ever be back here again. Kyler Murray, the most successful high school quarterback of all time, went to college, transferred from Texas A&M, went to Oklahoma, became a Heisman Trophy winner, became eventually a number one overall pick, and coming into this series had more questions than answers about, is he the guy? Is he ever going to live up to the hype? Since we've taken over, especially with the addition of Ben Johnson as our new head coach, we have seen Kyler Murray get back to that MVP, Heisman Trophy winning, GOAT of all time type form. We have the, we have, he's the defensive MVP, in my opinion. The MVP in the NFL in B.J. Ojolari. The best pass rusher the league has ever seen, especially over a two year period of time. He is borderline unblockable, coming off a game in the NFC Championship where he was held to just tackles. Could not get out to the quarterback. Now it's time. Out of everybody, the number one player we need to take over is B.J. Ojolari. We need to knock Aaron Rodgers on his ass early and often. Let's go make history. Come on, take it out. I dare you to take it out. That's what I thought. Old man Rogers. God, those jerseys suck. Gonna have to come on and be honest. Those jerseys suck. But Aaron Rodgers, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Argument made he's a top five quarterback, top ten at worst. Does he have one more game? He know he's trying to go it on top. He's probably gonna retire. He wants that storybook ending. This is where it's time for Ojalari to say, fuck your storybook ending. I'm going to get nine sacks and be absolutely unstoppable. So that first first play, that's where Owen Papa would be. Okay. Everyone knows, if you want to move the ball against our defense, you play like a bitch. And Aaron Rodgers is certainly doing that. With that, we got Troy Anderson out here. Oh, don't give me don't give me a flag on that. That was close. All right, we got Zavin Collins lined up against Tyler Conklin. You see if the pass rush can get home. Oh, what a jump up. What an anticipation type PBU. Marco Wilson. Luckily, I don't have anyone modding a shoe throwing celebration. Third and eight. Oh, let off the rip. Ojolari comes around the corner. Gets pressure. I don't even care if he gets sacks. As long as he is affecting the game with his pass rush, the sacks will come. That is an outstanding job. Down two stars on defense. They hit an absolute gong, so we're going to have to go 96 yards if we want to score on our opening drive. We're going to start with the Roosevelt Bonds run. Look at that great blocking. They get 11 yards. Brees Hall first run. We get 12 with Roosevelt Bonds. The linebackers aren't good.
think I was down. If I wasn't down, come on, man. We already got the injuries. Booth review. In my opinion, it looked like his belly was on the ground. There we go. But, young play. we're a young team. We are a young team at a big-time moment like this. Not a lot of Super Bowl experience at all. Versus, you know, A.A. Ron Rodgers. And that play got blown up right away. We were looking for Marcus House. He got jammed up at the line of scrimmage. And immediately, we are in a fuck it and chuck it situation. We got... It's going to be risky. Can't take a safety or anything stupid. Oh my God, he drops it. 99, the best receiver. The best playmaker... It, that said, swat it. Kyler Murray extends this play. Gives this guy a chance. I don't know. I mean, first, you know, hell of a hell of a swat. But he's you know, his hand didn't get up there. But that that needs to come down. This is the Super Bowl. We are trying to go for a perfect season. You need to bring that in. I mean, both offenses looking pretty shaky to start out. Drops. Rush throws. Pressures. Let's go Silas. You're not Owen Papo, but you got to try your best to imitate him. There's another drop. Gets popped there by Zavin Collins. That's like an old school steel curtain type play. Just fuck, elbow right in the gut. Now it's third and long. It is time for Ojulari to heat up. Let's get a nice little swim here on Becton. Oh, yes, baby. Let's go. Big sack for the Jets on their last drive. Big sack for the Cardinals. And the defense does their job. Let's go back to Vaughn's. Try to get some confidence back. Did have the fumble, but it didn't count as a fumble. And, uh, wow. John Franklin Myers says, uh-uh. Minus two yards through a drive. Need to pick it up. There we go. Oh, he gets Art Anderson spine busted for a first down. There we go. Good run. And Jack Gibbons, starting linebacker for the Jets, picks up an injury. It's a little bit of a, I mean, it looks like he'll probably return, but Owen oh, Popo, eye for an eye type deal. Makes even more of a, of a solid game plan to attack the middle of this defense. Oh, look at that. That is blocked up very well. Roosevelt Bonds, 32 yards on five carries. All right, let's go. I don't want to run right into John Franklin Myers. So we're going to go second and three. Oh, my God. You know, could have been a loss of two, gain of one. So that's up third and two. We'll go power. Let's run a little power here. And I'll go with whatever coach wants if we do not get this. He wants to go for it, stay aggressive. I'm down. He wants to take the points. I'm also down. We don't need to worry about it. First down, great vision, great blocking. All right, we're going to go with one of our money plays here. See if we can get on the run to Rondale. We actually get the backup tight end. Great grab there by Rollins. We'll take this in to the second quarter. Inside run. Kyler Murray got his X-Factor going. I don't know if running right at Quinn and Williams is going to be the smartest play here. But again, great vision. Roosevelt Bonds not showing any nerves after the fumble that wasn't. Let's do it again. Ran it right at him again. Double team, Quinn and Williams. He still makes a freaking play because he's a monster. For those counting at home, that is two fumbles by the Cardinals. Have yet to be punished. 
outside of obviously terrible field position now. Take that. We'll take that as karma. Should have been a pick. That sauce gardener probably is a pick. And we're going to take and have to settle for a 45 yard field goal. Luckily, we have the best kicker in the NFL, back to back kicker of the year, superstar, since he's been in the league. But the Cardinals are on the board first. Oh my. Had a shot there. Multiple shots. Almost got there. Thought we might have actually a chance of getting rough in the passer. And then the floated ball to the running back, I thought. Could have been a little more aggressive there, 32. Kenny Hodges led the league in picks. There was a play to be had there. There you go. Set the tone. Lay him out. Oh, there we go. Linebacker blitz. Zayvon Collins gets home. Second sack of the game. And gives us a third and long. We're going to play some zone. Try to keep it in front of us. Hope the pass rush can get there. I'm on Ozer Larry. Oh my God. The pressure. There's no way. What are they going to do? Please punt. Field goal, long field goal. I mean, they got they got a vet with a with a decent leg on them. But that's what's that? Almost sixty. It's good. Damn. All right, we're tied up. Second of five, staying with the run. Remember, Kyler Murray had a shaky game in the championship. Three interceptions. So remember, a little a little worried about the passing act, especially being down Archibald. Double ins. Let's at least look at it. I'll burn time off if this doesn't look good. Can't do that in the fucking Super Bowl, man. Can't do that in the fucking Super Bowl. That was terrible. Dan Campbell. We Dan Campbelled ourselves. Defense, bail me out, please, for the love of God. Bail me out. This is why you also go for it on fourth down, because our defense usually can bail us out. Going backwards. Let's go again. Same fucking play. Right now it is a longer field goal attempt than what they just previously had. What are they going to do? I mean, they're going to try another long field goal? They're going to punt it! That is why you trust the team! You know what? we got to commit to the pass now. We've been run, 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 run. It's a low-scoring game. Kyler Murray... In a, in a spot to make a play, couldn't make a play because there's no confidence there. So that's I'm gonna com, I'm gonna commit for this final drive. We're gonna go heavy pass, try to get Kyler and these guys into a rhythm. Doesn't mean we're gonna go only pass. Calvin Austin's yet to get a carry. He's you know he's waiting to bring the juice. You know he's waiting to bring the juice. Gate of eleven. All right, two minute warning. And we're going with these. We're, we're trying to go with these high percentage plays. Have not been hitting for us at all. There we go. Forced it in there. A little with a big one here. I mean, just it's going to be tough. Pretty. You got to almost assume whoever Sauce Gardner's on, that's going to be shut down. Quinn Williams is very good. I'm not calling time. I mean, we get the ball to start the second half, so at this point, let's start thinking about that. He 
See if we can get a shot off here. I mean, they just, it's such a good secondary. Well coached defense, Robert Sala. And there's just nothing there, man. It's like the Patriots Rams Super Bowl. that gong let's get that gong baby come on baby where's the splash play? i know that push way i know i got it i got this feeling in my plums there's a splash play that's just waiting to happen and erupt is it calvin austin is it gonna be a calvin austin run and it's a light box it could be nope but we'll take a gain of three to make it third and manageable. Kyler Murray got his X-Factor. Kind of wish we had the X-Factor where it gives you the mulligan. Gambler, I think it is, on the interception. Let's go third and three. This is one of our better plays. Fucking good defense, man. You know Aaron Rodgers and the company are going to make pretty good adjustments for the second half. If they were smart, they would probably start running the ball a little bit more. Troy Anderson, backup linebacker gets hurt. Great. Now we're down to linebacker four out there. MVP. He's the MVP of the league. Let's go, man. Ugly game, but we like ugly. Troy Anderson done for the game. Chad Muma needs to substitute in. Come on, Rosie. You get us five yards. We are probably in a field goal range. Oh, go, Roosevelt Bonds. Throw the stiff arm. Let's go. What a play. Biggest play of the game so far. All right, this play's going to hit one of these times. One of the nine times are we allowed to play this, it is going to go. For the yarders that we are looking for. And there we go. Throw it outside. Rondale Moore gives us nine. And he is a little slow to get up. Come on, Rosie. X-Factor. Got double X-Factor right now. Kyler and Bonds. Great block there by Dotson. And there we go. Up to the 11. It almost feels like first touchdown, man. This could open the floodgates. Man, this Jets defense. Right, what do we got here? We're... We got Brown, that looks house. This usually could be a house throw. We got Ronnie Moore on the slant. Oh, let's go! That's what you want to see. That's what, get who's, let's go! Best draft pick in fucking Madden franchise history right there. Anywhere on the tubes. And like that mismatch, Dante Jackson, 5'10". You're putting him against a 6'4", 260 monster. I don't care if cheesy or not. I got the X-Factor and Ojolari until they stop it. <laughs> He's an old man. This is elder abuse. Look at headbutt right in his face. He's going to be coming out. There's a conspiracy theory about the MVP. This is, I mean, if you watch Jet fans, this is what they know. They do not have the line to protect Aaron Rodgers. Give me the ball back. What a defensive showing so far. Sean McDermott, our defensive coordinator, getting fired by the Buffalo Bills, running that old school Jim Johnson blitz heavy defense. It's doing an outstanding job, and we're going to get great field possession. We're going to have a chance to run this back, hopefully in the spirit of Tito Williams from the Hollywood Tech Honey Hunters. Punt God sends it. Now let's see if we can get some, some juice here. Not bad. Go back-to-back -back runs here, second and nine. Two minutes to go in the third. Obviously, probably to set up a pass. But look at that hard running. Gets us in to field goal range so we can get something. Let's go Shark Wheel. Look for the slot, which is actually Claypool. Usually, that is Rondale Moore. But because of the injuries, or oh, we go right. Oh, that was 
That was not good at all. That could have very easily been pick six. Try to get Calvin Austin involved. What a waste. Get some points here, I guess. Perfect kick. 10-point lead. Thank you, Kirk Cousins. What a hold by Kirk Cousins. The thing I'm thinking about Ojolari is that eventually he's going to get knocked out of this X Factor. I want whenever this X Factor, if it does go off, I want it to be due to me. Not me. Not doing something. Oh, we go low. There's Silas. Oh, okay. He slowed him up. Did a good job. Brings up third and medium. Trying to force another point. We'll go nickel. Man defense. I got to go something quick, so we got to get home. Wow. Shook. He is absolutely rattled. You couldn't think you could rattle Aaron Rodgers. We have done that. Well, that run breaks the tackle. No big runs. DJ Humphreys are starting left tackle, limping off. Maybe that's just a big dump. You got the nervous poops. Abdominal strain. Get your ass back in there. It's the Super Bowl. Second and ten, Calvin Austin time. And, ah, there was a chance, man. If he could have got skinny, super skinny. There have been more yards there. Set up third and eight on the 48th X-Factor for Kyler. Can he make a play? We're going to bonds and pass pro. I think we're going to try and get this to Hollywood Brown. We got the tight end. Marcus House runs away. From Jordan Whitehead, moves the chains. You got to think, man, points here. Touchdown here. We're feeling all right. There we go. Roosevelt Bonds get the block. Oh, Hollywood Brown. He did his best. And with that carry, Roosevelt Bonds over the century yard mark. Trying to give BJ Ojolari a run here for Super Bowl MVP. If we can get this one over. I'm saying right now it's, it's Ojolari one, Bonds two. Maybe House with a touchdown three. Going to try and go for a throw here, huh? Okay. Oh my god, wide open. It is Mapletron from meme to machine. It's way too early to say that's dagger. But given how our defense is played, it's gonna have to take some sort of epic collapse or Aaron Rodgers getting us on some ayahuasca. He goes to the blue tent, get some ayahuasca in there. And he starts to have that third eye type vision. Again. Ojolari, X Factor, all mine. Oh, there's going to be 15. It was coming. We've been uh, giving some receipts to Aaron Rodgers whenever we possibly can. And the refs want to get the call from Goodell to make this try to make this game as close as you can. Don't lose it for a belly. He only gets more motivated. They're just dinking and dying. They don't, they're showing not a lot of uh, aggressiveness here to try to get this in the end zone as quick as possible. Like, all right, hey, sure. Nice first down. There's 20 more seconds runs off the clock. Trying to get sack number five for Ozilari. There you go. Oh, nice little, nice screen pass there. 20 more seconds off the clock, please. Defense wins championships, fellas. That's when you're going up against a 42-year-old rock back there. Oh, my God. Let's go. Can we make it six? Oh, we almost did. That's a hold. That would have been uh, that would have been disrespectful, I think, to get an interception. Just take the take the humble turd over, and tell him to start engraving that trophy. There we go final play. Maybe we can get that sixth sack for Ojolari. Maybe a turnover. Where's that confetti? Undefeated season. Utterly dominant. I mean, let's be honest. Offensively, we just, we played old school. We played old school football. 
Almost 200 yards on the ground with Roosevelt Bonds. And the best player in the NFL, B.J. Ojolari, decided a 42-year-old was not going to win. He was determined. Five sack performance, Super Bowl MVP, league MVP, the greatest right there, defensive season of all time. And we made history. And as I stated at the beginning, this is about a dynasty now. I am not going to let the greatest draft class that has ever been seen not get another chance to repeat. Not get a chance to repeat as undefeated champions. Who can stop Kyler Murray, B.J. Ojolari, and the Arizona Cardinals? It'll probably be like the lowest ranked team, like a 77 overall Rams next year. But until that time, look at this performance. 20 to 3. Kyler Murray. 113 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Pick was bad. Touchdowns, we needed them. 172 yards. Dominated the time of possession. Seven broke tackles. Big time runs. Yeah, we got two fumbles. They didn't count. Four to six yards of touchdown. And utter, probably the best tutty of the game. Marcus House. We talked about Claypool. Mabletron having to step up. And he gets a touchdown. Defensively, though. I mean, shout out Boogie Basham. Let's be honest with how many of those came because it was running for your life from Ozilary. But that is what, that's how tandems work. But the best player in the world. Move over, Patrick Mahomes. It is BJ Oju fucking Larry. With that win, we get our contract extended three years for five mil. I don't know where that puts it. We got 109 stat points for that Super Bowl victory. You're probably going to lose some stats. Actually, you know what? I was just going to go on a free-for-all, especially try to get this quarterback boost. But I am going to foresee a chance that we're going to have to uh, probably get some new coordinators. So we might want to bank as many points as we possibly can to ease that transition. Hopefully, though, fictional Sean McDermott and Jim Allen stay. Still have one more wave to pass before we see if we lose anyone, but I will say D'Amico Ryan's being fired. I will pay him an absurd amount of money to come be our new head coach. Offensively, however, not looking like there's uh, nearly as much. Arthur Smith could be a big name that's out there potentially, but I'll tell you right now, if we get poached defensively, I'm going to back the Brinks truck up to give D'Amico another chance. And just to make it official, no amount of imagination, the MVP of the Super Bowl is B.J. Ogilary. What a legend. And our final piece of business of the episode, so that when we come back the next time you see me, it will be the entirety of the offseason. We got poached. I'm going to assume both OC and DC are gone. And we got two options for a DC. Don't even have uh, an option here to look at the head coaches. Can't even make D'Amico Ryan's an offer. So that's... That's awesome. So while we uh, decide what candidate, I mean, I'm not switching to a 3-4, so I'll tell you that right now. Um, damn. I'm getting like Philadelphia Eagle vibes. Eagles obviously didn't go undefeated and win a Super Bowl, but they lost Shane Steichen. They lost Jonathan Gannon and couldn't hire adequate replacements. Maybe that could be the death blow for the Cardinals dynasty. That we are trying to build. But that will do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, uh, if you haven't checked out our Alabama Madden 24 modded franchise, go check that out. Let's try to pump those numbers up just a little bit. I hope you enjoy this season, this undefeated season, this all-time type franchise season. I also hope that you guys are kind of happy that I am deciding to continue this Cardinals franchise uh, for the foreseeable future. Just keep riding the wheels fall off. Keep developing these guys and just see... How much more Channel Legends we can find from this Cardinals franchise between now and the end of the Madden 24 game cycle. But thank you guys very much for watching. First up, stop by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out. Love you. Have a good one.